Uh, Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Jessica McCaskill here in Wales. Uh, saw you a number of weeks back when the fight was first announced, but now we're finally here. Yes, we're here. I'm excited. Um, I know it's you know a little gloomy, but I think I brought some of the sunny Chicago weather it's just to get everybody energized and ready for Saturday. I was going to say, I can assure you, this is the best weather we've had in a, a long, long time. Um, with this fight now just a few days away, how does the mindset change? How does the focus change as you get closer to fight night? Um, I think the focus is always there and you have to be careful not to like over obsess about certain things and you know just make sure that your team is on the same page and that you're communicating and you know um, and that you're very um, just you, you, you speak for yourself, you know, you stand up for yourself, you, you say if you need something, you have to make sure that somebody's fighting for you on that, because sometimes it's, it's, you're the boxer, you know, you're, you're just the boxer, and sometimes that's a big thing, sometimes that's a small thing, so I talk to my team throughout the day, I let Rick know if there's anything that I need, and uh, they make sure it's all good. Um, for yourself coming into this fight, the bookies themselves, uh -huh. in, all, in all their, in all their um, knowledge, have you as a a fairly significant outsider in this. What would you say in response to that? Um, I've seen I've seen kind of both ways. Where like I'm I'm the major underdog, and I'm just you know I'm kind of blown away by it, or like you know I'm like at the top of it, and I'm like you know it took you guys long enough to realize you know where I should be. But I mean I don't bet on myself anyway, so you know if you can make money, do it. If not, don't worry about it. <laughs> what do you think people are seeing you, or some people at least, seeing you as an outsider? Because in terms of the experience and what's been achieved, certainly in the pro ranks, you've got a lot more on your plate than, than Lauren. I don't know. I just feel like sometimes people love to hate me, and so they just kind of... I mean, I'm not very flashy. I'm not one to do like crazy things on social media so I think people just kind of don't know what to think of me and so it's easier just to think of me as an outsider and um, but you know I, I just like to let my boxing show you know what it really is. We talked about this a few weeks back but Lauren just a number of fights into her professional career and already fighting for a world title. We talked about the experience you've had winning world titles at, at a couple of weights. I mean how much will that play a part on Saturday night? I think that plays a really big part and not only the number of fights that you have as a professional but who you're fighting as a professional. Um, it just makes a really big difference. You know, it's, you can have sparring partners all day and you know, those people might not even like spar with you properly and you know, you can have certain people that actually fight you but they're not really at the level that you need to succeed and to grow. I mean, there's a difference between fighting somebody and winning and fighting somebody and then growing as a fighter to get to the next level. How does this build up and the fight in general compare to the other big fights you've had over here and against other UK stars, Katie Taylor obviously being one of them? Um, I think, I think it's, it's very special. I think it's very unique and different because the Welsh community is just a different type of people and you know they just they're they're very passionate um, their hometown people they love where they're from they love who they are and they're actually really nice to me so <laughs> I like I like being here um, so I, I think it's just kind of different it's not not good or bad it's just it's kind of special they're, they're nice to you now but what are you expecting uh, the reaction to be like on Saturday uh, you know and you know I don't think like Fighting Katie, I was like, I'm gonna beat this girl, and then we're gonna have to run to the airport because I think her fans are just a little bit more uh, radical. But you know, here they'll probably just cheer me off. You know, so I just I don't think it's gonna be crazy. I think they're they're gonna be loud at first and very passionate for for Lauren Price, and then hopefully they change that up, and then they're loud and passionate for Cass Killa. <laughs> we talked about the build up to that fight um, with Katie Taylor. She was obviously an established star. At the time, Lauren's still very much making her way in this business. Is there a, a difference there with with Katie being in a different position in her career? No, it's just kind of popularity, really. And um, I feel like you know Katie was popular, and then I feel like Lauren is also very popular over here with her people and her community. So it's kind of the same thing. It's it's no difference really. For you, this is a big fight in terms of obviously the world titles, but but gaining fans and popularity over here as well we thought we were a couple of times before but certainly the the being on sky being on boxer bbc as well what sort of opportunities and windows does this open for you um you know i'm not really sure because you know sometimes you think i'm, I'm doing something really big here and you think there's going to be big things that come from it and then 
you know, it, it doesn't really come to fruition in that kind of way. So I'm just looking to win. I'm looking to take the belts back home. I want to celebrate with, you know, my fans and my friends and my family. And I just kind of keep it like that. I don't need a lot of fame or fortune or anything like that. I want to be a good example to the kids that are at my schools and my communities. That's kind of the most important thing to me. I know you've mentioned Natasha Jonas before. You've obviously got a bit of a relationship now with Boxer and making this fight. Does that make that fight more of a possibility? Yes, I definitely think so. I mean, Natasha Jonas had a hand in making this fight happen and, you know, not looking overlooking Lauren Price, but getting past this fight successfully, that could be another thing, you know, that Boxer might put together for us. I mean, she's a fighter with Boxer. She's another lefty. Um, it just kind of makes sense. And she's on her way out and she has a belt. So maybe we could get that done before her time ends. You know, it's just a conversation. She talks to Rick all the time. It's it's not like, you know, I need to like call her out or do something weird for to make that happen. Um, fighters like to kind of do that for some reason, but we'll just have a conversation and see what she wants and see what I want and see if we can make a good deal happen. When you said she had a part in, in making this fight, what would you mean by that? Um, her and Rick, like I said, they have conversations. She, I think she manages fighters and she works with Boxer and, you know, he's my manager. And so he's just kind of had conversation about what, what the next steps could be and, and who's out there and who to talk to. And she just really lined up. You'd have to talk to Rick to get more specifics, but she just lined a lot of things up. And I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. You mentioned Katie Taylor's name. She's obviously fighting Amanda Serrano on the undercard of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. She's obviously fought in huge fights in big arenas, and she's a massive name, as is Amanda. Being on the undercard of Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, how do you view it? Um, it's just, it's you know, it's a good money grab for them, obviously. Like, Jake Paul has crazy followers, and that's going to be just so lucrative for them. And so anybody on the undercard, it could be could be lucrative for them so it's just a smart move as far as money anybody would do the same thing you know <laughs> is it money over legacy though is there no sort of um, there? yeah I mean it, they've already fought and I'm sure you know Amanda Serrano she's trying to get money Katie's always trying to get money they're not going to let Katie lose you know it's one of those kind of things so she's she'll be fine it's you know I think it's more about Mike Tyson right now and his age and of course Jake Paul making like these crazy fights happen that's that's more of the draw than anything like he, and he basically basically put Katie in her place by saying you're going to be on my undercard like you know that normally doesn't happen so that's how important the main card is. Uh, got to ask you about Chantel Cameron as well we know her relationship her, manage, her promotional deal with Matchroom has now ended and she's she's over with Frank Warren. Okay. Um, she was obviously hoping for that third fight with Katie Taylor. In her, from her standpoint, do you think that would be a disappointment? Um, I mean, you know, it's it's good money for Chantel, and I think she was like robbed from the first fight. I mean, I think the second fight, you know, not calling a knockdown and just being doing the weird stuff that, that always happens in Katie fights. So it's just unfortunate for Chantel, and you know, not getting that fight, you know. It's one of those things where I think that, you know, Katie's scared. You know, she lost the first fight and she's she got that that lick back and she's not gonna probably not gonna give it to her again. So it's unfortunate that but that's what boxing is, you know, it's just kind of um, chasing people around and people making fake promises or, you know, getting fake wins. It's it's un unfortunately it's that kind of a world. Is a Katie Taylor fight or a Chantel Cameron fight still something that you believe could happen? In your career? Um, I'm not sure. Katie, no. She would never fight me. She's smart enough to not fight me. But um, Chantel, I'm not really sure. I mean, obviously, people are looking for another Sandy Ryan fight. Um, we've talked about the Natasha Jonas fight. So at this point, it's kind of just like stacking everybody up to where they fit. And, and you know, if they have fights coming up or if we have time, that kind of thing. It's, it's a lot more logistics than you would probably think. But, yeah. Final thing from you, what's, what are the results going to be on Saturday night? What are your predictions? Taking my belts back home to Chicago. <laughs> Cheers for your time, Jessica.